you're starting to speculate with cryptocurrency, any advice? Be careful. Cryptocurrency is very, very volatile. Watch it. You're going to... Oh, specifically Dogecoin and Elon Musk hosting SNL. Okay. So, Dogecoin, very volatile. But, it's kind of settling into some pricing that we can kind of expect some stabilization around. Where It's still plenty volatile. There's a lot of money to be made trading it. You know, buying low, selling high, waiting for it to come back down again. The problem is, is a lot of people are going to be buying into this thing. There's all so much hype around it right now. Elon's going on SNL. There's a lot of hype expecting that to, to be a very big catalyst for Doge. Once that catalyst is gone, this thing could drop in value very quickly. So I expect there may be a sell the news type event that happens kind of like with 420 day which was doge day people thought that that was just gonna go up and have the biggest day on 420 turns out everybody sold off the day before they tried to beat the news and 420 it didn't perform all that well now it's it was still way up higher than it was months ago but if you're just now getting into this thing you're gonna end up buying near the top so you got to be careful out there what I'm doing with it, I have not been sitting on any anything. I wish I would have. <laughs> I really wish I would have. I have a hard time buying and holding. I get bored. So I do trading. I buy it. I sell it. I wait for some action. Like I got bored when it was trading under a penny for a while. Held, tried to hold on to it for a week or so, and I got out of it. Man, what a bad move because it's gone up like 500% since then, right? Just this last month. So if I would have just bought and hold it, I would have been great. And that might be the case for people that are getting into it right now. If they're just buying and holding, it might be a good way to approach it. However, I pay too much attention to the market and I realize that there are going to be times where it comes down. So what I'm doing, what I'm doing, I started doing this a couple of days ago on it. I buy in for a little bit. It goes up. I sell the exact same amount that I bought in for and I leave the profits in. And what I'm doing is I'm accumulating actual Dogecoin instead of paying attention to the dollar amount. Now, that, that's going to be hard to continue doing because at the moment, I'm up $500, 500 and change on it, which means I'm up. If I, if I, if I just left that in there, the number of Dogecoins I have is close to 1,000 Dogecoins. I have close to 1,000 coins. I think it's 800 and some odd. That are totally free. Like I, they're uh, the profits I made from putting money in and taking it out, has given me those Doge coins. So I could just sit on those eight hundred to a thousand Doge coins, and it won't matter where the price goes. And I'm hoping I might be able to do that. But if it gets up to a dollar, and now I'm sitting on a thousand dollars worth in there come Saturday, and I think there's going to be a sell the news event, I'm probably going to sell it, buy back in later. Because I just have a hard time not doing that. So let's see. In general, crypto is a good investment like Ethereum or Bitcoin. It doesn't feel super safe. Maybe it's the way you're looking at it. It's not super safe. That's what volatility does. I mean, when something goes up and down massively, it's not going to feel safe. Now, if you are if you got in way low and it's all like a thousand percent profit, you're going to feel pretty safe. Because it's got to go down a long ways in order for you to lose all of your gains. But it can happen. So you got to decide, as with any investment, you've got to decide at what point do you feel like you're better off taking it out. For a lot of people that have the ability to keep it in there, they can keep it in there until losing that money would hurt more than keeping it in there for some possible gains. Or if it's a life-changing amount of money. If you have a life-changing amount of money in there, there's no reason to leave it in there and lose it and lose the ability to change your life with it. I mean, that's literally what we mean by life changing amount of money. The amount of money that you've built up in there can change your life. If you take it out and you pay off your bills, you pay off your house, you go on vacations, whatever the case may be, it's going to change your life. Okay. So if you have life changes amount of money, 
life-changing amount of money in there, you might want to pull, pull some of it out, right? And change your life. If you can afford to leave it in there, if you can handle the volatility, you're welcome to do that as well. <laughs> you're going to have to decide at the end of the day, what's the best strategy for you? I hope you found value in today's video. If you'd like to find out more about IUL and the whole life, check out these videos right over here and we'll see you next time. Now go maximize your cash flow.